The ProCarve is a sports prosthesis for recreational and professional athletes with lower limb amputations. It creates targeted support for skiing, snowboarding, and other sports with similar motions, such as wakeboarding or water skiing. The foot and knee combination is suitable for knee disarticulation and above knee amputees, while below knee amputees can take advantage of the ProCarve foot component. The sports prosthesis consists of a foot component with associated attachment parts for snowboard boots or ski bindings. A knee joint, including a blocking clip for walking. And a high pressure air pump for adjusting the movement resistance of the system. The ProCarve prosthesis is individually adjusted during the trial fitting. During this fitting, all the parameters are adjusted according to the requirements and abilities of the user. The foot component can be equipped either with a foot shell, with a fit particularly suited to snowboard boots, or with screw-on pads that make it possible to step directly into the ski bindings without a ski boot. The prosthetic foot can be used individually for a prosthesis. The ProCarve knee joint consists of a lightweight aluminum frame and is equipped with a hydropneumatic damping unit, which can be adjusted individually to the athlete. The speed of the spring back can be determined with the hydraulic system. Furthermore, the knee joint is equipped with a lock that can be unlocked to allow the user to sit down comfortably. The user can attach a blocking clip to the damping element to prevent uncomfortable deflection of the knee joint while walking. The flexion resistance on the foot component and in the knee joint is adjusted with the help of the high-pressure air pump. The correct medial tibial plateau to floor measurement for the patient should be determined on the intact side with ski boots on. It is determined while the patient is sitting. The ischial tuberosity to ground distance of the user should also be measured with the ski boot on. It is advisable to reduce the prosthesis length by three to five centimeters at the beginning so as to have better control while skiing. After you have determined the medial tibial plateau to floor and the ischial tuberosity to floor measurements for the user, the bench alignment of the prosthesis begins. An example of this alignment is shown here for a transfemoral ski prosthesis. Remove the required adapter from the testing case in order to connect the ProCarve prosthetic foot to the ProCarve prosthetic knee joint. Attach the prosthetic knee joint according to the instructions for use. Position the alignment reference point, i.e. the axis of rotation of the knee joint, at the height of the medial tibial plateau to floor measurement, determined for the patient beforehand, plus 20 millimeters. It is advisable to reduce the prosthesis length by three to five centimeters at the beginning so as to have better control while skiing. The value from the quick reference guide table can be checked with a goniometer and adjusted correspondingly for the selected type of sport and amputation level. Once the components have been connected to each other, the socket is attached. A definitive socket must be used that can withstand the high stresses of sports. Position the socket so that the ischial tuberosity reference point is located at the height of the ischial tuberosity to floor measurement. It is advisable to reduce the prosthesis length. Check the flexion position as such against the table using a goniometer. The ski binding should be adjusted by qualified ski personnel. It is necessary to ensure that the ProCar foot is positioned in the middle of the ski, so the ski has optimal movement properties. A corresponding marking is found on the ProCar foot. Since the patient puts on the ProCarve prosthesis in its unlocked state while sitting down, it is necessary to ensure that the lock on the back of the knee joint is locked again 
in the extended position, which can be done with a simple hand movement. It is necessary to verify that the lock has been engaged securely. Feel free to support the patient the first time he or she stands up with the prosthesis. Every time the user wants to stand or walk safely, the supplied blocking clip should be inserted on the knee joint in order to prevent uncontrolled sinking and allow walking without spring movement. Then check the height of the prosthesis. The transfemoral prosthesis should be shorter than the intact side to make it easier for the user to ski. To allow the patient to get used to the spring movement in the pro-carve knee joint and foot, please remove the blocking clip. The patient should now practice deflecting the spring, leaning the upper body forward slightly. Now check the recommended basic values on the hydraulic cylinder and the pneumatic system and adjust them if necessary. Note that these are merely basic values that need to be individually adapted for every athlete. For adjusting the hydropneumatic system, the extension resistance can also be adjusted with an Allen key and the flexion resistance can be adjusted with the help of the high-pressure air pump. The knee joint is unlocked simply by pulling on the attached belt, which increases the flexion angle up to 80 degrees without any resistance from the damper. So the user has steady footing, he or she should step into the ski binding with the prosthesis first and only afterwards with the intact leg. In order to get a feel for how the hydropneumatic system behaves, the blocking clip is removed for this. As soon as the user has steady footing, he or she should become familiar with the system and perform initial exercises while standing. Note, for the patient to be able to step back out of the ski binding, the blocking clip must be reinserted first to allow the patient to walk without spring movement of the knee joint and get a steady footing. For the first steps on skis, the patient should have help from an O&P professional, one who skis or snowboards if possible, and a ski instructor. An example in an indoor ski facility is shown here. With the prosthesis first, and only afterwards with the intact leg. Feel free to hold the skis firmly to make it easier to step into them. All screws should then be retightened with the specified torque. It is advisable to get professional support from a ski instructor for the initial exercises. In the following, some sample exercises are shown. After the patient's individual familiarization period, Check the settings of the damping and readjust them if the user wishes. For adjusting the hydropneumatic system, the flexion resistance can be adjusted with the help of the high pressure air pump and the extension resistance can also be optimized with a four millimeter Allen key. The prosthesis knee can be unlocked for sitting down. This enables a chair lift to be used, for example. For standing up, the lock must be engaged again manually and checked to ensure that it is engaged securely. The user can now try out the skis alone. ProCarve has also been developed especially for curvy skiing and no longer represents an obstacle.